Hello Stampers! I have a fun faux stained glass card for you today. Um, I love doing these type of panels because you can use any like background paper to put behind them and you're doing all your stamping on a window sheet which is a lot of fun and then you can color them with Stampin' Blend markers um, and it just makes such a beautiful scene and this one I especially love because it has the expressions and in ink paper behind the window sheet and has all this gold running through it which it's just beautiful um, I don't know if you can see it well in the video but it really shines and it's just lovely so we're going to get started with this project and we're going to do it step by step and we're going to use the Dragonfly Gardens stamp set by Stampin' Up and I, I like this image here for the flowers, but I wanted something a bit bolder, so I brought in the Quiet Meadows stamp set where the flowers are, are a bit thicker, and um, I, that's what I wanted was a little more pop to it than the little flowers in this one. So either, either one, you could you could do this one. Just I would just do a really bright color on these flowers to make them really show up. And so we're going to get our window sheet out. This is a four inch square window sheet. And we're going to do our stamping in stays on jet black ink. I'm going to start with our dragonfly. Get it good and inked up and stamp it on the panel. I always forget how lovely <laughs> the um, stays on ink smells. That almond smell is just yummy. So there's our dragonfly. And I'm going to stamp our flowers. I'm going to stamp them around here. Try not to overlap them. Have that. Our stays on up. Now it's time for some coloring. And we're going to use three markers for this. I'm going to start with the dragonfly. And that, um, the body, I'm going to add in some old olive, um, bring it in on the wing tips. Now one thing, um, it will, the markers will take away some of these really light lines in your design. So don't be alarmed by that. So we've got that and then I'm going to go to the fine tip and I'm going to do all of the stems and leaves. And if I didn't say, this is an old olive Stampin' Blends marker. It's the dark old olive. Get these all colored in. Going quickly just so you don't have to sit and watch me color forever really doesn't take that long. So there is our stems and leaves in the inside of the, I mean outside of the butterfly, butterfly dragonfly's wings. Um, I'm going to bring in some dark Bermuda Bay for the inside of the wing. I just kind of flick it when I get towards the green. Just so it's not a racing stripe. So there's that and then for our flowers I'm going to use dark polished pink this is one of the new ink colors it's a beautiful color I'm going to color all the flower petals with this got a little squeaking going on with this marker 
Pulling the buds in too. I'm not doing a lot of like shading or anything on this project. It really doesn't need it. You want some nice bold color. So it shows up against your designer series paper that you're going to put behind it. So there's our flowers. And the next thing I want to do is I'm going to put some white chalk marker dots uh, right along the top of the wing of the dragonfly. Just put a line of dots. Probably not showing up real well for you on camera since i am got a back, white background here. I hope you can see it. Um, I'm putting white dots in the center of the flowers. Just real quick. I don't spend a whole lot of time on this type of stuff. So there's the white dots. And the dots along the wing. So that's all the coloring there is to it. We're going to back it with a piece of um, ex Expressions in Ink um, Designer Series paper. This is in the annual catalog. And boy, has it been popular. Um, I would suggest if you get hold of it to go ahead and order two packs of this because you're going to want it. It's just gorgeous. So we're going to put um, this over this panel. And you can, like turn it around and see what you like best. Um, you can put the most colorful part at the top on the sides. And to get this piece with just with some white in it, I um, cut the paper in half. It, it had color going down the middle and so I cut the 12 inch paper in half so I have color and some white on each piece and then this is a four inch square and to adhere this on here I'm going to use many glue dots in the corners We're going to disguise those glue dots because you're going to be able to see them through the window sheet, of course. So we're going to disguise them by putting some bling on top of them. Let's see if I can get this lined up well here. See how you can see those glue dots through there? Well, we're going to disguise it by putting bling on. And these are the blue adhesive back gems. Put the large ones on. You can also use brads if you have brads in your collection. Use brads to put it on there, but doesn't that look beautiful? So there's our panel. We have that done. Now we can assemble our card. And, oh, I forgot to tell you that, um, this panel here um, with the expressions of ink designer series paper I ran through the big shot 
using the painted textures embossing folder and I love that it looks like plaster and I have a 4 inch by 5.25 inch piece of basic white cardstock and I also ran that through using that same embossing folder the painted texture embossing folder and this is going to be on the outside of our card and we're going to take a piece of ribbon for our bow for the top we're going to put a piece of ribbon around the center of this card I'm going to take glue dots for to glue the ends down. And then we're going to adhere this to our card front. I'm using my mono multi-purpose glue. And it's going on a five and a half by eight and a half inch granny apple green card base folded in half to measure four and a quarter by five and a half. Glued it on there. And our main image panel is going to go on here, but I'm going to put stampin' dimensionals on this to pop it up. You can certainly just glue it down, but I like a little depth going on with my panel here. I'm going to pop it up. All these little backs off. this over to the side to the right side a bit leave some room for our bow and see this is dry so it's not going to smear or anything Take another piece of ribbon create a bow with slide it under Legs a little trim. There's our finish card. And inside, I just put a 4 inch by 5.25 inch basic white piece of cardstock on the inside of the Granny Apple Green card base. And there you have it. You can get all of the dimensions for the panel panels along with all the links to the products used for this card down below this video all you have to do is click show more and you'll see the list and also if you're inspired by this project please give it a like and hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it and that way you'll be notified whenever I put new videos up take care Bye.